Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to continue my series as to whether or not you can get legitimate keys for software from eBay. And today I'm going to see if I can get Sony Video Studio 16 Ultimate. Well, let's find out. What we are going to do is we're going to jump over to eBay and I'm looking for Sony Vegas Studio Pro 16, 64 bit version for Windows Video Edit software and it's £1.50. So let's buy it now. This is around six or seven hundred pounds worth of software. So, you know, you kind of want to make sure it's correct. I'm going to purchase it via PayPal. It's £1.50. Going to confirm and pay. Okay. So I've got confirmation that it's been paid for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back and I'm going to show you why there's red flags here. So although the user has 100% feedback, if we scroll down here, it says Sony Vegas 16, yep, 64 bit, yep, pre-activated software, no key is required. That's a red flag. Very few companies ever would send out software that can have a pre-activated version. Digital delivery only, again, not a surprise. Nothing will be sent by post, only a download link with instructions will be sent via eBay message. And thank you for shopping. It's got the person's name listed, which is actually in London. And you got a 14 day return policy. But there's very little information to go here. The user does have 100% feedback. So I'm sure we'll get a message in a moment and we will find out whether or not this is a pirated version, as I suspect, or whether it's a legitimate piece of software. Okay then, so, eBay's just notified me, I've got new messages, or rather it didn't, and I just had to log in and find out. So it looks like I may have my details for my Sony Vegas. Let's find out. So I'll click on here. Please do not update the software after installation. Okay, that's a red flag. That probably means it's bootlegged. It's also asking me to download it from a Google Drive account. So again, probably a pirated copy, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Install Vegas, replace, replace the patched file in the following path. Okay then, so let's go download the file. Okay, interesting. It's actually a folder. Ah. Okay, so I'll click download there, click download anyway. That's unusual, never seen that before. My download's complete. As you can see, I would expect this to be a setup.exe file, but it's not. It's actually a Sony Vegas 16 zip file. So I'll open that up. I will extract it. I'll extract it to a folder called Sony Vegas Pro. Okay, I'll jump back out and I will scan that folder for viruses. So Spybot Search and Destroy, scan the folder. Yes, I'm okay with that as UAC kicks in. Checking both files. On a wire queued, not just actually sending or scanning, rather. Oh, there you go, both files are actually clean, so there's no viruses shown in this. If you download anything from the internet, especially something that's clearly an offer that's too good to be true, you always want to scan it for viruses. So let's go in here, let's follow the setup process. Vegas 16. Vegas Pro, so that looks fine. English language, next, next, yep, next, install. Okay, that's finished, so click finish. And it says I have to replace the DLL with the protein DLL, so I'll right click and copy that. And does it tell me where I'm supposed to put it? 
Make it dead, didn't it? C program fellows Vegas, Vegas 16, 14. Okay, so C, Vegas, or program fellows Vegas, Vegas 16, 14. Paste it in here. And place file on the destination. Continue. UI will be required. That's been done. Okay, so let's minimize this just now and see if I've got a legitimate version. The fact that I actually have to place an activator in there tells me this is not a legitimate version. This is a pirated version that has clearly been sold as the original thing. Again, something to be aware of. Uh, Command R S for Sony or V for Vegas? It's not S for Sony. It's V for Vegas. So I'll click Vegas, click Vegas Pro. So you can see here, like license to Quadra. So this is a patched version. I should get the option to install a license key or at least give it my name at this point. So software appears to work. Uh, let me let me import something and try exporting it and see how that works for me. So I'm going to I'll do my intro IT snippets intro. Just pick one of my intros. Click OK. Imports fine. Drag it out my timeline. Do you wish to match the media? Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, let's see it plays okay. Plays fine. Seems like a bit of wasted space, to be honest. I'd rather this bit was bigger, but I'm sure, yeah, I can play about with that. Okay, so how do I render in this one? I go to... Uh, I've never used Vegas before, so this is completely new to me. Tools, video, video options. Well, I have no idea how to render. Save. Render as, there we go, click render as. So for the sake of it, I'll do a video for Windows. And I'll do, well, it'll be PAL. Uh, it'll be 1080p. 24 frames a second, so I'll go for render. Just put it in my documents called Intel, don't really care. I'm just curious if it actually works. Okay. So my intro is about 10 seconds, that took 5 seconds to render, that's not actually bad. Open the folder, did the render work, helps if I double click right file. And the render appears to work quickly. So for all intents and purposes, this software is working the way you would expect. Uh, I'm not getting any complaints or anything like that, that it's an unlicensed version. But, as I said, the fact that I have to load an activator after downloading the software, I can't update the software, I don't download the software from Sony's website, every part of that tells me that this is bootleg software and you should avoid. So at this point, I'm two for two regarding software that I have purchased from eBay for video editing that turns out not to actually be what it's supposed to be. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.